Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we are giving a quick follow-up on the Black Beacons. I figured out a way of timing them so they don't go off and they stay on as long as possible. So what I've done here is, is created a 40 second clock where it only turns off four ticks. Now these four ticks are specially aligned so that they don't coincide with the four seconds in which this thing, the beacon here, checks whether it has a block above it. So this, what I found out is that this timing here is actually not related to when the block's placed, it's running its own counter as it goes. So what I've come up with is this one here, as you can see it stays on for 3.6 seconds, is off for 0.4 seconds, and goes back really quick. So all three of these together, this one's the exact opposite, the timing I've tried to put it as close to that as possible, but I'm slightly off. But you can see this one stays white for as long as possible, blinks it to black, and stays the same. I'll show you how to build this in just a second, how you can figure out this timing. You might be able to figure it out. So now here I have a two second clock, so 20 ticks, and it's on for roughly half of that, so we get a nice pulsing beacon, giving it look like it's contested. And the nice thing about using one second here, or two seconds here, is it lines up nicely with the four seconds, so it doesn't go out either. So now I'm gonna build uh, one of the full size ones. This one's roughly the same. You, it's a bit more guessing on this one to get half as full. You have to guess about a second when you turn the lever off, but, so over here we're going to create a new beacon, create a little 3x3 three three again as usual, surround it to get the black beacon effect, and we will build out our piston here, piston here, block here, we got another spot there, get our two levers, two are used for this, don't put the redstone on top just yet, and we'll oops, uh, put it here, I'm just using iron because I don't need more blocks, so we're full one, we need four along here, Two out and two out. And these are all going to be running on four ticks, which will give us a grand total of ten of these at forty ticks. And we'll round that out. Or do 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 do. Don't want to mess up the timing, otherwise the beacon will strobe off occasionally. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the turn the beacon off. We're going to wait till it goes off. Now we're going to wait till it comes back on again. As soon as it comes back on, we're going to try and hit this lever. Oop, now I was late on, uh, I was too late on that, so let's just cancel that. I was taught, I was thinking about too much about what I was saying and not what I was doing. So, beacon's gone off, we're going to wait for it to come back on. Boom, we're going to wait till it gets to this right near the end here. I'm going to turn it off here so I don't miss. So that wasn't perfect, I left eight ticks in there instead of four. But, when we connect this up here, we got our beacon, which stays on for most of the time. It was off for a bit. Now, I wasn't perfect, so I, I missed... Uh, I, was, I was a repeater off there when I turned it back on. I'm sure this could be automated, but this is just my quick setup for doing it by hand. Uh, there's no... The, pist the beacon doesn't seem to give block updates when it turns on and off anymore. I thought it did at one point, that you could quickly way of saying seals upward, but no, it doesn't work. So that's our one problem. I seem to have messed this one up somehow. I'm not sure what happened if my clock fell out of sync because it's not exactly four or something, but that's odd. Let's break this for a second. Weird. It was working just fine earlier. Had that's the first time that's gone off, so I guess I must have hmm. Must have messed up that one, but this one's been staying in sync, so maybe it's not exactly four seconds, maybe it's something close. But for me, it seems to work. I don't know why that one just turned off. It was working just fine until I made this beacon. It had been running for maybe five minutes, at, or five, ten minutes at that point. This one here is the exact opposite. You just turn it on for two seconds when it hits the beacon point, and it does the same thing. Or, no, you just turn it on for two seconds when it's not on the beacon point, and it'll stay off there. This one, yeah, when, you, when the thing turns off, you turn it on, and then flick it off as best you can a second later. I seem to have lucked out on that and got almost exactly a second, and it gives a nice strobing beacon. I'm not sure why this one's not working, because these ones have been working for just as long as that, and this one's working just fine. So, anyway, this has been Chartreuse. Hope you enjoyed this quick follow-up. Have a nice day.